Did you ever wonder why Rocky chopped all that frozen firewood in Russia in Rocky IV? And if it worked so good against Ivan Drago, the giant Russian that he defeated by knockout in the last round, why didn't he chop frozen firewood in Rocky III? Maybe he wouldn't have lost to Clubber Lang. Why didn't he chop frozen firewood in Rocky V when he had to have a street fight with that thug Tommy Gunn? And why, when he was in his 60s, didn't he chop frozen firewood uh, when he fought Mason the Lion Dixon in Rocky Balboa. Maybe he would have pulled off that great underdog challenge there at the very end instead of losing in a decision. Well, I'm going to tell you why Rocky uh, chopped all that frozen firewood in Rocky IV, which, by the way, did not take place in Russia. That film was filmed in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, where in the winter, December, January, and February, the average high is approximately 30 degrees Fahrenheit and the average low is approximately 6 degrees Fahrenheit plus or minus 2 degrees on the high and the low. However, what that means is the temperatures remain below freezing on average most of the time and it means that the firewood would be frozen. Okay, in part 6 of Rocky, Rocky used a big old sledgehammer to bust or to hit rubber tires. Why didn't he just uh, chop firewood like in Rocky 4? Here's why. Because when that film was filmed, the firewood would not have been frozen because temperatures were not below freezing unless they would have changed uh, venues and filmed it somewhere else. What does any of this have to do with me heating my house in the winter in frozen firewood? Here's the point I'm trying to make. Uh, if you have firewood that still has a high moisture content, like I do, I have a bunch of red oak that fell about five or six months ago straight to the ground in a windstorm and which has sat on the ground for five or six months. It's taken us some time to get it cut up. It's taken us some time to get over here and start chopping it. If this wood were not frozen, I would bury my ax in this wood like a sponge because it still has a very high moisture content. However, and I'm not sure how well the camera is picking this up, but as you can see in the background behind me, we had a very heavy frost last night Temperatures have been going below freezing and staying below freezing for several nights in a row now, and so now this wood is frozen. So instead of getting my ax stuck in the wood like a sponge, if I wait until it's frozen to split it then, it splits, it just shatters apart like ice would if you hit it, and then I get to look like I'm Rocky in Rocky IV, big enough and strong enough to take on the giant Russian Ivan Drago. Let me demonstrate. Okay, I don't know if this will pick up in the camera or not, but if the light will hit it just right, you can actually see how the moisture within the veins is, is frozen, and it's, it's not runny, it's not dripping, it's because it's ice, and you saw that's a pretty big chunk of pretty moist red oak. I'm going to show you again. You see how even though I'm cutting a thick chunk and I'm not cutting all the way through because I'm biting off more than I can chew, my ax is not getting buried because it slides right up out of the ice. So even if I don't get the perfect swing, I can still get my ax out of the chunk of wood. See that? If temperatures were above freezing right now and this were not frozen, my ax would be stuck. And there, it finally just breaks right off. Again, if this were not frozen, I'd be stuck right now. But since it's frozen, it comes right out. and go right down there and slice it out like ice. And again, look at the moisture. It's frozen, so it's not actually liquid form, it's frozen form. So, yes, that's why 
Rocky IV cut all that frozen firewood because it's actually easier to cut firewood when it's frozen if it has a high moisture content. So if your firewood is high moisture content and you're looking outside and you see the thermometer is below freezing, don't wait for it to warm up to go out and cut your firewood. Get out there and chop it up while it's frozen and then get out there and stack it maybe once it's warmer and let it dry. So thanks for joining us for another video here from Homesteading Off The Grid. Uh, shout out to Sylvester Stallone. Please take no offense to this video because even though you are like 100 years old now, I know you can still beat me up. So please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off The Grid, and we'll see you for more next time.